What up? Be back with another edition of CT's RPT. Real Prison Talk with Wes. And uh, I did a show uh, a couple days, a couple days ago, maybe, maybe a couple weeks ago, and it was called Jail Workouts versus Cell Workouts. Now, I guess the title needed a little more explaining because I had somebody ask me the other day, Wes, if you want to sell, ain't that gel? So how could it be a gel workout versus a cell workout? What's the difference? And I'm going to try to explain that to the best of my knowledge. So first of all, in order to understand, you might have to I might have to take you a little bit on my journey. So, when I first came to prison, I was in a level two facility, which is a dorm. Uh, We were allowed to go to the weight room a couple times a week. Level twos and level threes are mostly dorm settings. We got some level threes that's like a cell setting but you're still allowed to go to the weight room. You're still allowed to go outside. I think we went outside every day. So we had an outside wreck and then we had an inside wreck every day. So when I say a, a gel workout, I was mainly talking about those workouts where we would go in the yard and bust out 300 burpees before we jump on a pull-up bar, and we would basically go to the weight room and utilize all the equipment that we were able to take advantage of. That's what I meant by a gel workout. We're utilizing the gel equipment. Some of it was not used for, some of it was not intended to be worked out with, like in the day room there would be steps that would lead to the top tier. We would go behind the steps and use those to do pull-ups on. Those are gel workouts. They had, uh, in, in Corrigan, they had an air conditioner outside that had like a bar under it and we would use the air conditioner to do pull-ups on. And we would just go crazy. That, that when I, that's what I mean when I say a gel workout. I mean, like I'm in the weight room right now. I mean, basically just come down here, grab all my weights that I'm going to use. I used to have my schedule, what muscles I'm working, all that planned out. So I used to go to the weight room or go outside, wherever I was going to go, grab everything that I'm going to use, and just go crazy on that shit, you know? Because... As somebody doing time, somebody in jail, you have more time than the average person. That's why when I came home, I remember my first bit, I came home like this bit, we were up to about 2,500, 3,000 push-ups. And I had a little more time this bit to build myself up to that. But my last bit, I had came home and I was doing like 1,400 push-ups. And I remember my brother telling me, like, I'm not doing that. The fuck am I doing 1,400 push-ups for? Like, basically saying, like, that's way too much. And for somebody that's free, I can understand that, you know? Dudes be having lives and real things to do. But in prison, we ain't got nothing but time. So, especially somebody like me, where that's the way I do my time. The way I do my time is by exercising. We overdo it because we have nothing but time to work on our bodies. I think that's probably how I messed my shoulder up. But that's what I mean when I say a gel workout as opposed to a cell workout. Now, the cell workout is what you're forced to do when you're in them programs like that security risk group. Once you're labeled a gang member, a security risk group member, 
or a security risk group threat member, which I've been labeled all of those, you are now sent to a level four facility and you are now in the cell for 23 hours. So you get one hour out your cell. Now, I think right before I left the game block, they let us come out and start letting us go to the gym on Saturdays. But the gym that they let us go to, there was no weights in there anyway. They let us go to the gym to play basketball. So that's scratch that. Don't forget I even brought that up. But now when you're in the cell for 23 hours a day, the gel workouts is all workouts that's done. You can do gel workouts in your cell, certain workouts, but the majority of them, you get more than one hour to come out. So you'll be allowed to come out, work out for an hour, take a shower, still use the phone, and still kick it with your homies and play chess or Scrabble, like I used to play Scrabble, cards, whatever you want to play, you know what I mean? When you were in a cell for 23 hours, you got one hour to come out. You can't, you ain't got all the time in the world to do all that stuff that I just named. So, the majority of my workout was in the cell. And that consisted of my water bag, my book bag. Um, I know I explained to you guys what a water bag is. But for those that didn't see that episode, I'm going to go over it one more time. You get a garbage bag. You get a 16-ounce cup that they sell on commissary. So, honestly, I started off with filling the cup up 20 times of water and dumping it in the garbage bag. Once I got to 20, I doubled the bag. I tied it in a knot. I took my t-shirt, put the bag inside my t-shirt, the open part, I tied, I closed it into a knot. So it, the sleeves, I was used, I would use as my handle. So the the t-shirt will cover up, the the bag would probably be right here, especially when it was a 20, 20 cup bag, it got bigger, but as a 20 cup bag, the bag would be right here, the bottom of the t-shirt would be tied into, into a knot so that it won't fall through. Excuse me. Knock my headphones on my ears. So the bottom of the t-shirt would be tied into a knot so that it won't fall through. The top of the t-shirt, I'd use my sleeves to, to grab as handles so that I could curl it. And every other day, I would curl my water bag. And When I did my curls, I will also do what I like to call upright rolls. Don't know if that's the correct term for it, but that's what I've been calling it for the last five years. So upright rolls is when you grab the bag with both hands, bring it up to your chin, and back down. Up to your chin, back down. Both hands, though. And it helps the traps. It works out your traps. I would do that one day and I would alternate. I would use my bag for that. And then the next day I would do my 2,500 push-ups. All different kinds of push-ups. Push-up day I would also incorporate burpees sometimes. Just a few to get things started. Um, And I would do chest and and back arms. That's one of my push-ups and dips. I would do those for four hours. You in the cell for 23 hours. I worked out four hours a day. I would do push-ups one day. I would do water bag curls the next day. And like I said, when I did the curls, I did my upright rolls with the curls. When I did my push-ups, I did my dips with my push-ups. Sit, uh, cr- crunches, sit-ups, and V-ups, I did every day. And that was my cell. That's the cell workout. And now when I came out for my hour, I, needed, I had nothing to do but take a shower, use the phone, get ready for the next day, you know? I, like I said in one of my last shows, my wreck, in that 23-1, your wreck is how 
you count when the day's over. When the wreck's over, the day's over. And it's it's a it's a repetitive act, you know. You do the same thing every day, and that's how you get through your time by having a routine. So hopefully, I explained the difference between a cell workout and a gel workout. And cell workouts are mainly for level fours where you're in a cell the majority of the time and especially gang block um, chronic chronic is when you um, no AS program and chronic when you catch tickets and shit like you catch too many tickets they send you up to Northern it's the same rules apply you're in a cell 23 and 1 and that's what the cell workout is for once your level drop you will start to get to level threes and level twos where you'll be in dorms. Now you can go to the gym. You don't have to do three and four hour workouts because you're in a dorm setting. So you're constantly, I was constantly doing stuff, you know? I could use the phone whenever I want. I could play cards whenever I want. I could watch my shows whenever I want. So the level twos and threes are dorm settings. Level fours, let me go start from the level fours. Level fours, you're gonna find a lot of dudes doing cell workouts because the majority of their time is spent in the cell. And in gang block, you're spent in the, you're in the cell 23 hours. Once you get out of the gang block and you're in the level four, you're still in the cell. You're not in the cell as much, but you're still in the cell the majority of your time because you may come out in the morning for two hours and at night for two hours, if that, you know? I'm being generous by saying two hours. I know at night it's like an hour and 45 minutes or something like that. And you're in the cell the rest of the time. It's not until your level drops again to a level three and then a level two where you're in a dorm setting and you go to the gym more frequently. And even if you don't go to the gym, you could go work out in the day room whenever you want. And then you get to a level one which is where I'm at right now, would be a halfway house. So hopefully I broke that down for you. And if you haven't, hit the subscribe button by now. Show me some love and do that for me. Hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram at wes.smith.129. That's wes. S-M-I-T-H dot one two nine West dot Smith dot one two nine and I'm on Facebook at West Smith West without the T West Smith and until next time peace